Nope, 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 nope. They have a good thing, maybe great thing going right now, and they're just trying to give it away to Trey Lance because Trey Lance is there, because of what they did to get Trey Lance on their roster, what they committed to in terms of draft choices to move up to get Trey Lance. And that's sad because now they made a bad decision, at least a rash decision, at least a rush decision, trying to get off of Jimmy G when he's still out there winning, when Jimmy G's still out there balling while he's still keeping this thing rolling. And because you made a bad decision, now you're going to make a worse decision in trying to give it to someone who hasn't earned it. Why do I say that Trey Lance hasn't earned it? Let me give you a few examples. One, Trey Lance, since high school, has only thrown 35 touchdown passes. Now, I ain't talking about no preseason. Like, I'm talk like that's not a lot, y'all. Like, High school to now, like, this is going to be a completely different game. Of all first-rounders drafted that high, he's thrown the fewest pass attempts in NFL history. Trey Lance. Okay, let's get off of that. There are two people that I'm going to protect, uh, one that you know and one I don't think you know. One of them, who is Mr. Optimist in terms of talent evaluation, said they are breaking Trey Lance down right now as we speak in terms of fundamentals because they don't see exactly what they need. And there was someone else who keeps it 100. He said, he ain't it. Now, why do I bring that up? People are like, why are you hating? Why are you hating? Yo, prove me wrong. I'm not hating. I just tell the truth too early. When Patrick Mahomes, for all y'all, because I got other examples, but people don't know him. When Patrick Mahomes was a rookie, you couldn't get away from a text in the phone. Yo, bruh, Wiley, come on, man. It's, it's stupid. It's silly. I was like, Texas Tech, dude? Like, I know he was good. And then we saw him hit. I went to the first NFL game of Patrick Mahomes of his starting year, that MVP year, and it was against my Chargers, and he lit us up. Four touchdowns. It was silly. Point being, I'm not hearing anything to support what they're going through right now in terms of Trey Lance being their quarterback. So, for me, nah, he shouldn't be the starter next year. I'm with you, man. Trey Lance shouldn't be the starter. If he was going to be the starter, it would be obvious. Mm, mm. If Trey Lance was going to be the starter... Jimmy G wouldn't have had to play with a broken thumb last year. Yeah. A broken thumb is what made me make the decision to stop playing football. And you got to roll out Jimmy G, your starting quarterback, with a broken finger in the biggest games, essentially, of the Niners' season, in the mm. biggest games, roughly, mm. of Jimmy G's career. No, if Trey Lance was that dude, then Trey Lance would be playing right now. If Trey Lance was actually capable of being the starter we wouldn't be having this conversation. Mm. There are not quarterback controversies going on right now in the National Football League. It's the offseason. Yeah. Like, in the offseason, you know who you have, particularly before the draft. We're looking around, and we know which starter is going to be the starter on literally every team. Yeah. The Seahawks are the only team that we're like, you know what? They're likely going to draft somebody unless they trade for Baker. Mm. And the Falcons are the one team we're saying they're likely going to draft somebody unless they stick with Mariota. Yeah. There is no quarterback controversy. Mm. So the fact that the Niners are sitting in the midst of a quarterback controversy, it tells you everything you need to know. Here's what the Niners are trying to do if y'all haven't caught on. The Niners are trying to avoid what the Packers have done with Jordan Love. There it is. The Packers clearly made a mistake in drafting Jordan Love, and we all saw the mistake that they made. The Niners have allegedly made a mistake in drafting Dr Trey Lance, particularly so early in giving up so much to get him. But the Niners are trying to keep us from seeing the mistake. So the Niners are sitting here telegraphing the right just to <laughs> see if they can sneak in a left. Mm -hmm. But we understand they telegraphing the right as soon as the season ended. And we're going to work with Jimmy Garoppolo to find an accurate and proper trade destination for him. Do it a trade. Where it Stop at? talking about it and well, do it. Well, well, the surgery, no. Nah, if, if you have Come six on. vacancies at the, at the quarterback position at the start of the offseason, there yeah. were roughly six teams looking for quarterbacks. Mm -hmm. Any team from, from Washington to the Colts to Houston uh, to the Saints uh, to uh, uh, the Seahawks after you knew Russell was going to move in. If you don't want to say Seattle, then say Denver. Yeah. There were roughly six quarterback vacancies, a huge game of musical chairs. And just like a parent at a carnival, when you have a kid that's too shy to play musical chairs, what do you do? Uh, get in there, MJ. <laughs> get, get in there. Right? Like, MJ seeing all the music going on and people walking around. Let's, let's, get in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what the Niners should have done with Jimmy G. Mm. Well, well, get, get in there. Carson oh, Wentz yeah. is about to go sit down. Drew, Drew, uh, uh, Russell Wilson about to go sit down. Rogers about to go sit. Get in there. 
And instead, they held Jimmy G's hand off to the side and let all the chairs be sat in by other starting quarterbacks. Mm. To me, that's incredibly telling Marcellus Wiley. Mm. Trey Lance shouldn't be the starter next season because yeah. if he was going to be, we wouldn't be talking about it. Man, say it again, say it again, say it again. Uh, man, I, look, I'm objective, though, so I'm going to keep it balanced up here. There's a lack of reps in college, especially, and a lack of competition. I went through that conversation. Hey, you play in Ivy League. Can you translate? Well, you got to go through that. That's part of why a lot of guys go to big schools. They don't have that conversation to have to fight. So you didn't have reps and you didn't have the competition. And then you come to the league so far and, you know, it's a mixed bag in terms of the results. <sighs> They're in that position. You ever been in this you paid so much for something, you just got to wear it. You're just like, <laughs> and that's the worst, because you don't, if you walk in your closet and then you got to have a second thought on what to put on, it ain't really what you should be putting on. But you're going to put it on because I already paid for it and I've spent that money and I'm not wearing it. That's how Trey Lance looks to me in terms of their mindset. They invested so much, if not too much in him, that now they got to make it work. So they're going to make a bad decision worse, potentially, because they have to go out there and see what that decision looks like. Trey Lance on the football field. But Trey Lance on the football field, not the worst in all situations. One and one record. Okay, you still got us sitting there like, well, who are you? 57.7 completion percentage. Ugh. But five touchdowns and two interceptions. Okay. 97 pass rating. Okay. Not bad. In your second start, your passing yards and attempts went up, and it was the highest by any 49er quarterback in three years. Okay. You got to respect that. All that said, when you're a backup, Acho, then the way you got here is because when you were doing all the shows and you're doing the car wash, you're on every mm -hmm. other show, that rep was getting bigger than just giving them this little time slot. Same thing happened to me a long time ago on a show here, on a show. They're like, dog, we need more, we need more. Not that same conversation with Trey Lance right now, but we'll see when he gets his own show. Looks like it might be this year.